right guys, welcome back to the Hobby Farm Homestead. Uh, it's a rainy, cold day here in Northeast Ohio, so it's a good time to work indoors. Um, we're gonna go up to the hog barn and get that thing started. We got a lot of tear down we gotta do before we start putting it back together. So I figured we'd do a little bit of that today. Um, so I'm gonna gather up some tools here and then we'll get started. I'll catch you up at the barn. All right, we're up here at the hog barn. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I need to do is get these three lights working. Um, the little ceramic things that go on those is kind of a a uh, like a commercial grade, not commercial grade, but just a temporary thing. They aren't allowing a good connection, so I'm just going to go ahead and put uh, the new ones in, and hopefully we can get these three uh, commercial grade LEDs to work that'll light up this place. So let's get at that. That light must be out. It is. It's not working. Do you want me to turn off the lights and turn it back on? Didn't you say one of the lights were dead? Yeah, go ahead and flip it on and off. Nope. Well, we only got one to work. Um, that one right there. I think the two other ones are out uh, because I replaced second one and it didn't make any difference so i'll probably run up to the store maybe tomorrow or the next day and grab a couple of those three fin led lights like i put up in the, our horse barn down at the other farm but for now we're going to go ahead and get started on tearing this stuff down right here there's plenty of light i'll open this back door up and uh that should give us plenty of light so let's go ahead and uh get started tearing this stuff down Okay, we got all that down. That took a while. Um, that's why I put it on time lapse. Uh, but our next thing we got to do is finish taking this wire down, uh, level out this dirt pile, and 
see where we're at. I, I need to take all the rest of these down, um, but one thing at a time. So we'll get this done and then we'll work on this one, but that'll be another day. I just don't have enough time today, but for sure today we're gonna go ahead and get this leveled out and net down. Okay, well, I think that's it for today. Kind of run out of time. Uh, so this will be video one of redoing the hog barn. It does not look like much, but it, I mean, it's, I've been up here for two hours, three hours, taking care of all this. Now I had to dig out a little bit underneath that mat. I'm gonna take that mat out and uh, take all that stuff down on the, the walls. And then like I said, I gotta replace this pole. But first I gotta put one right there to support that shelf that's up there. So that'll be, that'll be done first, then I can take this one down. And then, like I said, I'll do this section next, get that out. Then I can actually work on getting two pens built over here. And once I get that stuff situated to where I know that I'm kind of ahead of the game with this, I'll tear down the other two sections and to see where we'll go with that stuff. Um, but I only really need two more pins over here, but I wanna make them a little bit bigger. I'm thinking about making them 10 by 10 pins, and then if I have to, I can split them into five by 10s. So, but I'd like to have the pigs be able to run a little bit more, so I can build their muscles a little bit. I mean, the show pigs, we kinda get them out every day and walk them and stuff like that anyhow, but uh, you know, some of the like the Carcass pigs, I like to build up some of their muscles. I don't know, it's just theory. Probably doesn't mean anything, but I'm gonna try it. I didn't do carcass this past 4-H year because we didn't get it up to weight. Uh, we got them a little bit late, so this year I'm hoping to get it three, four more weeks earlier. So I'm, I hit, you know, I hit that 230 pound mark, maybe a little bit more. So, but that's it for today, guys, and. Uh, if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. Keep an eye out for the next few. It's probably gonna be like a four or five video series getting this hog barn ready. I mean, we're already ready on this side, but this side's gotta be done too. And uh, that way it's all done. And then when we get our pigs here in about three and a half months, four months, somewhere in there, we're ready. So keep an eye out for those videos. And like I said, if you like this one, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Uh, we're doing videos like this all the time. And we do all kinds of things with horses, chickens, ducks, cows, pigs. And we do a lot of gardening and stuff like that. So think about subscribing. I'll catch you guys later.